in this video we are going to discuss how to derive the gibbs free energy of the system let us consider the subsystem the subsystem having internal entropy it is represented as s internal the system is thermally connected to its surrounding the surrounding having the entropy it is also represented as s external the entropy form of the second law of thermodynamics for this system is applicable only if delta is internal plus delta is external greater than or equal to 0 if q is the heat transferred to the system from the surrounding then minus q is the heat lost by the surrounding so that delta s external is equal to minus q by t delta s external is the entropy change of the surrounding substitute this value in the above equation we get a new equation by rearranging this equation we get t delta s internal minus q greater than or equal to zero if the process is assumed to be isobaric then q is equal to delta h Substituting Q value in the above equation, we get T delta S internal minus delta H greater than or equal to 0. Delta H is the enthalpy change of a reaction. We can write the, the above equation like this. That is delta H minus T delta S internal less than or equal to 0. Gibbs free energy is the energy associated with a chemical reaction that can be used to do work. So delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Delta H is the enthalpy change of a system. Delta S is the entropy change of the system. Helmholtz free energy can also defined as delta A is equal to delta E minus T delta S. Delta A is the change in Helmholtz free energy. Delta E is the change in internal energy. Thank you.